Hi, I'm Anna or Anna G. Writes and Reads on all social media platforms and this week we're going on a road trip. I am the matron of honor in one of my best friend's weddings and we are going to go to Iowa City and Des Moines to get some pre-wedding activities done. I do a lot of audiobook reading while I drive so I want you to come with me. We'll see how everything goes. Any little tips or tricks I have because sometimes on those long stretches where it's just fields it can be a little harder to listen to audiobooks so I usually push through with a few tips and tricks that I'll talk about in this video. We'll get ready together, we'll make the three hour drive, and we'll see how the weekend goes. Hopefully it goes really well. Let's start packing to go on our Iowa City trip. I like to use packing as a time to start whatever audiobook I'm going to listen to on the road trip because for me, I don't like starting audiobooks in the car. I feel like any audiobook, books in general, have some type of world building in the beginning. And for me, that's the point where I would most likely lose focus in any book. So I'm going to start the no show today. This was a super lucky get off of my Libby's hold list. I think I still had like 70 something people in front of me and I happened to get it in like a skip the line day. So I'm super excited to be listening to it. So I'm going to start that while we pack our suitcase here and start to load up the car and get ready to go. So hopefully I get past that introductory world building part and by the time that we're off and driving, I'm on to the more interesting parts of the book. I feel like that's how I don't switch from audiobooks to music or whatnot. I can really stay focused on my audiobook that way. I have listened to maybe about an hour of the audiobook and I'm just about to do some of my final packing. I'm really glad I listened to a little bit of the audiobook because one, Ivana Lynch is one of the narrators, which I just think is so cool because I loved her playing Luna Lovegood when I was a kid. And there are three female narrators in this book and it's all about how the same guy is kind of playing those three girls and he has a different name. So I'm glad that I got to the point where he did the no show already and now he's starting to do his apologies, which you can see that all in the description of the book. So I'm glad that I'm now into it because now I'm really curious why he's using different names, what did happen, why he had to stand them all up, and when are the three girls, obviously I feel like the three girls are going to meet each other, so it's just when's that going to happen, what's all going to be revealed, things like that. So the final part of my packing is I'm going to pack my little backpack together and I am bringing some physical books with me on this little road trip as well. I'm bringing The Cruel Prince. I have a decent portion of this left, but realistically I don't know how much I'm going to read of it. I usually bring one book and then I usually bring a second. So the second one I'll bring is The Wicked King. I really don't know if I'll get anywhere. I'm currently on page 216. I am enjoying the book, but I've just had other audiobooks that I've listened to that's taken priority. So I know that I do want to read this if I potentially have a chance to. We'll see. And then would I get to this? I don't know, but I always bring two books with me. And then can't forget your wireless headphones and your glasses when you're a reader on the go. So we're all packed and ready to go and we're going to get this show on the road. I double checked where I'm at in terms of Libby and I have listened to 52 minutes. So about an hour of the book. I'm hoping to make quite a bit of progress during this three and a half hour drive. We'll see what happens. Okay, we are at the first gas station on our way to Iowa City. I'm really enjoying the no-show so far, but it seems pretty slow going at the same time. I like that there's multiple perspectives, but I don't know, maybe it's because I'm driving or whatnot. I feel like I'm learning just little snippets of information instead of anything major happening. I also don't trust the guy at all. He says that his mother has dementia. I don't know. I really hope he's not lying about that, but he is lying to three women at the same time. And he's not using a different name. That was my bad. One person calls him Joseph. One person called him Carter, but his full name is Joseph Carter. Oopsie daisy. We're gonna keep going until our second stop. And then after the second stop, we'll be in Iowa City, which is going to be really fun. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe more major pieces of information will drop during the next bit of time listening to the no show. So I'm still hoping that the no show will pick up quite a bit because again, I wanna understand the hype and why there was such a long wait for this book. So I'm very curious, so I could be wrong, but hopefully it lives up to the hype.
okay, we're stopped at the world's largest truck stop. I got my caribou hot chocolate and literally three minutes after I filmed the clip at the first gas station saying, oh, I hope the no-show picks up and more nuggets of information. I feel like it definitely picked up literally two minutes after I filmed that clip. It's definitely more interesting now. I'm definitely more intrigued. This is definitely more of a character driven book than what I thought it would be. I mean, I think there's a little bit of plot right now, but there's so much character building. I'm curious to see if we'll get more plot and whatnot. A lot of clues have been dropping along the way, and I just don't know how all three of the storylines are going to come together. We'll just have to see. We're about 40 minutes out from Iowa City. We will be able to check into our hotel, and I'm super excited because the hotel is all bookish themed kind of everywhere so I think that'll just be really cool to stay in and go forward with the rest of our night continuing to listen to the no show so we'll see if more happens between now and Iowa City but since it's only 40 minutes I, I'm not sure but maybe I'll be wrong again who knows okay so I wanted to give you all a little room tour we have the little bookish room with Edgar Allan Poe a huge picture of him just up and about then we do have a king size bed and a cute little view of the pedestrian mall in Iowa City, which is honestly one of my favorite views of Iowa City. So I was really happy to get this room. And I feel like since it's a corner room, it's pretty spacious and I really lucked out. We made it safely. I got a little over four hours into the no show. I am still enjoying it. There's still more information being pieced together. I'm curious to see where everything's gonna go still. I still think it's definitely like a medium paced book, still very character driven. So I'm curious again to see if it's going to switch to talking more about the plot and everyone's relations and whatnot. Now I have a pretty bad headache, but I might go walk on a treadmill for a little bit just to kind of clear my mind. We'll see. Otherwise I might just come back in here, lay down, maybe read some of the cruel prints because I definitely got here an hour and a half earlier than I had initially anticipated when planning this trip. So we'll see how that goes. I listened to more of the no show while I went on a little walk. I don't know. I am just feeling really anxious because we're supposed to be near some bad weather tomorrow, but I am trying to work past that. So I think I am gonna read some of the cruel prints tonight, but I'm just gonna put down my phone and see how long I read for it naturally and then just go to sleep naturally. So again, I'm starting at 2.16 and I'll update you where I end up at. I really, like I said, I really like being able to read and travel still. And I think reading just really helps me calm down to sleep. I don't know how many updates I will necessarily give tomorrow, but I'll definitely touch base a lot more on the third day of our little road trip to just, I don't know, talk more about the book, see where the progress is at. I'll have my wireless headphones so I might be able to listen, but definitely not my first priority, especially for tomorrow. And hopefully I'll be able to get more into the no-show to figure out what's happening because I guess there was just a big reveal with one of the three storylines. So I feel like there's going to be a reveal in the other two as well. And I'm anxious to get to those. And the Cruel Prince, I don't know, I feel like there's just a constant fast pace with the Cruel Prince that I'm really enjoying. So I literally don't know what's going to happen next in that book. I have no expectations. The only thing I do know is that Cardin and Jude get together at some point. I literally don't know how that happens, but I am in it for the ride of this enemies to lovers. I don't think it's going to happen this book. Could be wrong. I don't know. But I know they get together just based off of like those couple like book talk couple videos that you see where people are ranking their book couples and Jude and Cardin are always on there. But like I don't fully like I can see where the change is starting to happen, but I'm curious how it goes it I because I feel like this is my first true enemies to lovers. So I'm very curious to see how that goes. All right, it's the next day. I read about 10 pages of Cruel Prince last night because I was just knocked out after that. I listened to more of the no show this morning while I worked out. I still just think it's a slower paced book and very character driven. And I'm hoping because it picked up for a little bit, slowed back down and I'm waiting for it to pick back up again. I'm very curious to see where it's going to go. I think I'm a little over 50% of the way done with it, but we're going to start our fun day for Friday and see what the day looks like. I don't, like I said, I don't think I'll be able to listen or read a lot, but I will see what happens during the day. And then tomorrow will be the big finishing up of the road trip. Um, I got my wireless earbuds in, definitely good to bring along if you plan to listen to a lot of audiobooks. 
during the way. So I would definitely recommend these beets. They were, I think like $150 when my husband got them, but they've been so good. I have no complaints about them at all. Okay, y'all, so it is the last day of the road trip, which is a Saturday. I didn't do a ton of reading yesterday. However, I did start an ebook, Girls Like Girls by Haley Kiyoko, because when my friend was getting her hair and makeup done, I couldn't sit next to her and talk to her the whole time for the makeup portion. <laughs> so I just decided to start reading an ebook. So I didn't listen to any of the no show yesterday. And I do think that's actually one of my tips with road trips in terms of listening to an audiobook is to make sure that you're not overdoing it because then when you have the really long parts of driving in your car during the road trip you don't want to be tired of listening to the audiobook because of how much you've listened to it so i am excited to get back to the no show i also really didn't do any reading yesterday so i'm excited to get back to the rest of it and see i will have to stop and get gas on the way back and i don't really know what my route looks like because and i'll put some pictures here part of where i am in iowa and a little bit eastward of where iowa city is is some major tornado damage right now so i don't know what the highways are going to look like i assume they're going to be fine but there might just be some random debris still flying around because it is windy today so definitely going to be vigilant for that i'm definitely excited to get back into the no show again i'm curious to see because i'm only 56 percent of the way done and so there's still quite a bit that can happen and there are a lot of suspicions still around and a new relationship that's budding for one of the girls and i thought that was an interesting i figured that was going to happen i just didn't think it would happen so early in the book i kind of thought it would be like a last few chapters type of deal so that'll be really interesting to see where that goes and then i don't think i'm going to finish the no show on this drive but I'll have a pretty good idea after listening to, again, like three and a half more hours of it, of how I'm feeling. I don't know how many times I'm going to stop along the way. But like I said, I at least definitely need to get gas. So there will be one stop somewhere and probably to eat. So we'll see how far I get into the book before I need to make any stop. Alrighty, we're in the line at Chick-fil-A. I've driven for about an hour so far, so I have two and a half hours left. Don't know how long this line is gonna take though, because it's a very long line. I think the moment where all three of the girls are gonna meet is going to happen, I wouldn't say shortly, because again, I just feel like this is a slower paced book in general, but I can see where it's probably gonna happen around like the 75% mark. I don't know, I'll have to try to see if I see exactly what mark it happens at, but I feel the anticipation building. I'm getting excited to see what's gonna happen between the three of them. I think it's, like I said, I think that's what's gonna happen. Definitely at least two. I don't remember how the third girl's gonna get there or if it's been said yet, but if two of them are there, I assume the third one's gonna be there. So I will keep you posted on that as I continue my two and a half hour drive. Okay, I just got home. So I have about an hour of the book left. So I'm gonna finish the book and then we'll wrap everything up. We've finished the no show. And to me, I rated it a three out of five. For me, I feel like the book just didn't really, really pick up to the point where I didn't think it was slow paced or medium paced anymore until the last 20% of the book. And I just feel like that pacing was detrimental to me fully enjoying the experience. It was definitely a good one for a road trip because I wasn't going anywhere. I had to sit with myself and listen to the audiobook. But when I had to get home and listen to the last hour, it took me a little bit to get through that last hour. I also think that this book is marketed as a rom-com. I didn't really think there was any comedy vibes in this. It was definitely a romance book. It definitely had some sad moments. The author definitely has a big plot twist in there. And I see where the clues were. If you have a long road trip, you could listen to the no show. But for me on road trips, I would have definitely preferred something a little faster paced. But I'm glad that I pushed through. I'm not a person that really DNFs books a lot. So I definitely find myself pushing through, especially on those long road trips when, you know, you don't really have anything else to do. So may as well listen to an audiobook. But overall, like I said, some of my tips are listening to the audiobook while you start packing so that you get past some of the slower world building part, making sure you enjoy your vacation and not listening to it 24 seven. I know, especially if you create book content or whatnot, there might be this pressure to always be reading. 
And I think, you know, if you're on vacation and away from your everyday life, you really should enjoy that. And then making sure that when you go back into the audiobook, you know, it is something that you are interested in. For me, I was partially interested throughout the majority of the book, you know, trying to figure out the mystery of it. But if you're not interested, definitely switch. There's no harm in DNFing books for anybody else. So we might do another road trip in the future. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one.